The spoilers for chapter 76 are out and what happens towards the end will completely blow your mind. This time we have got Aida on the cover and it's a text heavy chapter like last month which goes by the title of Women's Sanctuary. As for the title, it could be a reference to the pillow talk that Sarada, Aida and Sumire have in this chapter after she demands for some more girls in the apartment. It seems like the foreshadowing of opening 10 where Sarada's eye can be seen with the symbol of Senringen is finally gonna come true after she meets Aida. The writers didn't let Sarada see Aida on the first glance which seems for their possible alliance. Back to the chapter, it begins from where it left last month with Boruto's reaction upon seeing a glimpse of future. He then recalls the prophecy of Momoshiki saying the blue eyes will take everything away from him. The writers seem to be putting more emphasis on this prophecy, maybe because it's just around the corner. The chapter then takes an emotional turn as Amaro tears up while reminiscing his daughter. It seems like his feelings are genuine and he really wants her back. Or chances are he's just a skilled actor who can cross all limits to achieve his main goal. Aida on the other hand says that she is tired and then then everyone goes to take some rest. The night arrives and nobody is able to sleep peacefully except Daemon. Aida keeps an eye on Kawaki with the Senringen and seems concerned about him. While Kawaki is also drawn down into some deep thinking, Boto on the other hand looks at the karma and is having flashbacks of Momoshiki. Not to mention Kawaki also said that he resented the karma and wanted to get rid of it as he considered it the culprit behind his suffering. But now he sees the Osusukis as the true culprits for using humans and implanting karma on them. Seems like Kawaki's heart is filling with a lot of hatred for the Osusuki clan and there is no way he would spare code and all the threats that can harm the peace of the shinobi world. Maybe that's why he's fighting Boruto in the future cause he does not want people to use Shinjutsu or its scaled down versions at any cost just because it's dangerous and the shinobis are the only people using it. Coming back to the chapter, Boruto questions Aida on the breakfast table that why she only loves Kawaki if he's also an Osusuki. Aida replied by saying it's due to the age gap while Daemon interrupted by saying even though Boruto is an Osusuki, it's because of his face that she doesn't love him. So for the people asking Kawaki's age, he must be almost 15 right now since he was 14 at the time of his debut. Boruto and Kawaki then start arguing on the breakfast table and suddenly Aida needs more females in the house and demands for Sumire and Sarada since they are the nearest available. Sarada and Sumire get shocked upon hearing their names. Mitsugi wants to go with them too but Konohamaru stops him by saying he would get affected by the love spell. Delta also wanted to go with them but Sumire didn't let her. The chapter then takes us to the pillow talk of the three girls where Aida speaks her heart out regarding what she feels for Kawaki and if it's actually love or something else. Sarada tells her that everyone feels that way to which she gets asked if she also feels something for Boruto. Sarada reacts aggressively on this question and then the scene shifts to Boruto and Kawaki. Finally coming on to the cliffhanger of this chapter that has yet another time hyped things up for the series. Momoshiki's thoughts again get crosswired with Boruto. The monster was thinking about Aida's love spell so Boruto questions him. Right then Kawaki figures out Boruto has been talking to Momoshiki and asks him to come out. The most epic way to end a not so interesting chapter. We shouldn't forget Kawaki has developed a grudge against the Osusukis. Does it mean he's ready to kill Boruto again? You can watch this video where I have covered this possibility. Also don't forget to subscribe as my next video is gonna be a banger for sure. I will see you next time.